Melissa from Nature's Garden. I bet you're wondering why I'm wearing these festive bunny ears. Today we're going to make a Easter bunny candle using our jelly bean fragrance oil. So come on, let's whip it up. All right, so first we are gonna make some Easter egg embeds. We are going to use the Pillar of Bliss wax and a pink color block for the first round. We're gonna make four different colors, all in a pastel color. They'll be put at the bottom of the candle, and then we'll put some fluff on top to create an Easter bunny. So let's go ahead and get this Pillar of Bliss in our pouring pot, and I'm gonna take it over and put it on our double boiler. Okay, so now that I've melted my wax to 195 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and stir in my color block. We're just putting just a little bit because we don't want it to go too dark. We want it to be kind of a pastel color. So you can add as little as or as much as you want, but once you get your color block stirred in, you wanna add the fragrance oil. Like I said, we are working with jelly bean fragrance oil. If you have not smelled this one, it is super strong. I highly recommend it. And once you get your fragrance oil added, of course you wanna stir. And then we're gonna make sure the temperature of the candle wax is around 140, 145 degrees, just because we are pouring into a plastic mold. So you wanna make sure that you don't melt the mold. So you wanna pour around 140, 45. Okay, so once we have poured our candle wax into our mold, we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process to create blue Easter eggs, purple Easter eggs, and yellow Easter eggs as well. Okay, so now we're going to put our candle wicks in our jars. In order to do that, we are going to use a hot glue gun and we're going to use two CD12 wicks and we're using these 16 ounce apothecary jars. Now when you're putting your wicks into your jars, you wanna make sure that they are centered and evenly spaced. So. All right, so now we're going to see if our embeds are ready to remove from the molds. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and remove our Easter eggs from our embed mold. So if you just press lightly, you will be able to pop them right out of the mold. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and melt our Joy Wax uh, to 195 degrees. And while that is melting, we're gonna let our embed set up. Yeah. 
Okay, so I have the Joy Wax melting. While we're waiting for the Joy Wax to finish melting, we will go ahead and talk a little bit about the wax. It is Nature's Garden's most popular wax. Comes in a slab form. It is very, very easy to work with. So as you can see, I've already cut the slab into smaller chunks, but I just wanted you to see just how easy it is to cut. It's very soft. You can cut it so easily with very little effort. So when working with this wax, you melt it to 200 degrees, at which point you add your color. Once you add your color, you let your temperature drop to 170, 175, and you add your fragrance. Um, as far as the amount of fragrance, you're gonna add around an ounce to an ounce and a half of fragrance per pound, depending on how much you want. Uh, once you have added your fragrance, stirred everything together, you let your temperature drop to 160, 165 degrees, and then you pour the wax. It is that simple. Um, this is a wax that I would recommend for container candles, although some people will use it for wax melts. It is going to be a softer wax, so it will be harder to pop out of the molds because obviously container wax is made to adhere to your candle. So if you're going to use it for wax melts or something like that, I would use like the portion cups or something like that. All right, now that my Joy Wax is melted and to 200 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and add some white uh, color. So we'll use a white color block today to do that. So we're just gonna take a nice chunk of the color block and we will add it right to our wax. And we just wanna keep stirring until everything is completely incorporated into the wax. We're gonna let the temperature drop to 170, 175 so that we can add our jelly bean fragrance oil. And now we're gonna go ahead and transfer the wax because we're going to be whipping it uh, using the hand mixer. We're gonna go ahead and transfer it into this bowl so that it'll cool down a little bit quicker and we can start whipping the wax. All right, so I've let the wax cool down a bit just so we can go ahead and start mixing it. Um, let me get this out of our way here. All right, so we're just using a hand mixer and we're looking for a whipped consistency and we'll just keep whipping until it begins to harden up. All right, let's just take a look at our wax and see where we're at here. So. All right, we're starting to thicken up here. So we're almost there. Let's see, let's just keep going a little bit longer. As you can see, it's getting thicker and thicker as we go. So we just wanna kinda get it to a whipped cream type consistency. what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give my bowl a little bit of a scrape so that I can get all the wax around the edges into the bowl. All right, so when we are at kind of a whipped cream frosting type consistency, we are ready to go. As you can see, it's nice and thick. So what we're going to do now is set this aside for just a moment and then we're going to add little Easter eggs into the bottom of the jar. So what you want to do is you want to place them so that you can still see them. So you want to fa face them the flat side in towards the wick 
and the outside is going to be lined just at the bottom with little Easter eggs. And they don't have to be perfect, just kind of lay them in there so that they, uh, so that you can see them through the whipped. All right. And now, get that out of the way. We're just simply gonna scoop the whipped wax into the jar. And you wanna be careful while you're doing this. Um, I tend to go into the center first and then work my way outside. That way I make sure that my wicks stay centered because you definitely don't want your wicks to go off center here because when you burn your candle, if they're not centered, you can get some blackening around the jar and stuff like that. So just gonna keep going until we fill the jar up. So now we're just going to make sure our wicks again are nice and centered. Now we're going to create some, clean up the edge of the jar here. We are going to create little bunny ears for our candle. And then what we'll do is we'll decorate the outside of the jar so that it looks like a bunny. Okay, so now that we have all of our whipped on our candle, we're going to go ahead and melt some beeswax. We'll use the beeswax uh, for bunny ears simply by pouring it onto this pan and cutting them into the shape of bunny ears. So I'm going to go ahead and get just a little bit of beeswax melted and we're gonna add some pink color block to it once it's melted. So. Okay, so now I have melted my beeswax and I added just a tiny bit of a pink color block and now we're going to go ahead and pour it on our mat. All right, so we're going to let this harden up just slightly and then we're just gonna cut two bunny ears out of it. Okay. So now that the wax has hardened a bit, all we're going to do is create a bunny ear shape. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm using a toothpick because that's easier for me. Some people will use a, um, will just simply cut it out with scissors or a knife. I like the toothpick. So we're just going to cut two bunny ears. So there is one bunny ear. And there is our second ear. So now we're going to go back to our candle here. And all we're going to do is simply press the ears into the candle wax so that it looks like a bunny. And once we do that, we're going to take a little bit of joy wax and we're going to paint around the edges of the candle. Okay, so I've melted just a little bit of joy wax. I decided to leave this portion unscented because I didn't really feel that it was needed. So now we're just gonna take a paintbrush and we are going to paint on our candle, on our bunny's ears. So. Okay. 
And you can just kind of let it drip down. We're just, we just want it to look like a little bit of fur around the ears of the bunny. So now I'm just gonna clean the ear up a little bit because I got a little bit of wax on the inside of the ear. And then all we have left to do is put a face on the bunny. Okay, so for our little bunny, I have googly eyes and a little pink fur ball for its nose. And then we have a big pink or big white furry ball to put use as a tail. So we're simply going to hot glue everything right to the jar. So let's start with the eyes. Okay, so the last thing that we have, of course, are, is gonna be the whiskers. So, with these pipe cleaners, we're going to create whiskers. All right, ah, hot glue. Okay, so we're simply going to twist them and turn and We're gonna twist them together and then I think I'm gonna trim these so that they aren't as long because as you can see, they're a little long for the jar. So we'll just make them a few inches long or about an inch and a half. And then we'll spread them out a little bit, just slightly. And now we're going to glue it onto the jar. And that's it for the front. And now we're gonna go to the back. And we are going to glue a little tail on. Okay, and that's just going to go on the back. Yeah. All right, and there you have it. There is our Easter Bunny candle scented with jelly bean fragrance oil and we hope that you enjoyed making it with us. So until next time, we'll see you later.